<laughs> Looks as though they want to make friends. Is this your horse? Yes, ma'am. That's my friend, Flicka. That's a nice name. It means little girl in Swedish. Hello, Flicka. Meet Bo Comet. He's about the best looking horse I've ever seen. Next to Flicka. He is the best you've ever seen, son. He's a grand champion. Won dozens of blue ribbons. First to show everywhere. How did you know? Oh, I raise horses myself, ma'am. And I read the Stockman's Journal. I know all about Bo Comet. Magnificent animal. He's more than that. He's my friend, too. I'm Barbara Schuyler. I'm Rob McLaughlin. This is my son, Ken. How do you do? Where are you taking him, Miss Schuyler? We're going to San Francisco. I've entered Bo Comet and the horse show there. Looks as though he'd rather stay here. I can't blame him because as a mighty pretty young lady. <coughs> Guess we're on our way again. Better get him aboard, Frank. Nice to have met you all. Glad to have met you, Miss Tyler. Thank you. Good luck at the horse show. Thank you. Isn't he a beauty, Ken? He sure is, Dad. Almost as beautiful as Flicka. $1,000 reward for the return of Bo Comet, valuable sorrel show horse lost in the Wind River country on May 16th. Finder, please contact Miss Barbara Schuyler, Palace Hotel, San Francisco. There was a fire on the train and Bo Comet got away. I heard all about it in town today. Dad, do you think they'll find him? I don't know, son. That Wind River country's mighty rugged. Well, what'll happen to him, Rob? Oh, a horse like that, high-strung, domesticated, won't stand much chance in that kind of country. Unless they find him soon, he'll turn out to be bait for the buzzards. Oh, what a shame. Such a beautiful animal. Dad, why don't we go after him and get the reward money? I could sure use it. But it's a hundred miles from here to the Wind River. It'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. <laughs>
Beaver Flat tomorrow. Start bringing in the rest of the herd. Clinch, you and the others could start cutting them out and branding them. How come you're always giving the orders, McLaughlin? I'm not giving any orders. The members of the association elected me to ramrod this roundup. You got any better ideas? Yeah. Hawkins and me will cover Beaver Flats. You and your outfit do the cutting out and branding. That suits me fine, Taylor. Always it has to be that way with him. Don't pay any attention to him, Gus. He's got a rotten disposition, but he's a good stockman. What do you say we turn in, son? You've had a big day. All right, Dad. As soon as I put Flick his blanket on her. Want to tie up your mare tonight, Clint? No need to tie her up. She won't run away. Now, lady. Shorty Willis says there's a big red stallion around here. Been causing him a lot of trouble with his mare. Suppose he shows up. You're riding herd. If he shows up, wake me. I'll take care of him. Come on, lady. What's the matter with you? You want to stampede every horse around here? You mind your own business. I know what I'm doing. Well, sure. You know what you're doing. You just shot your best mare. It's all the fault of that mangy stud horse. I'm going to get him if it takes me all summer. Gosh, Dad. Clint shot his own favorite horse. He's a hot-headed fool. Strays around here? It's blood. All along here. Come on.
I know it is. Are you sure, son? I'm positive, Dad. We'd better hurry. Clint Taylor's out looking for him, too. And he had his rifle with him. If that hothead finds him, he'll shoot first and ask questions later. Chances are he headed for the high country. With so many mares around, he won't go far. Let's have a look, see. Mark of a shoe. It must be common. No wild horse would be wearing shoes. Looks like there's another horse made here. Sure does. Come on, let's go. What's the matter with you, anyway? I'm trying to keep you from destroying a valuable piece of horse flesh. Valuable? That knothead? That knothead happens to be a grand champion. There's a thousand dollars reward out for him. Thousand dollars? That's right. Why don't you get some sense in that head of yours and help us catch him? Who's gonna pay the reward? I'll tell you that when we get him. Why should I help you catch him and split the reward? Why not every man for himself? That's just like you. But I'll go along. First man to get a rope on him and hold him gets the reward. You got yourself a deal. Gosh, Dad, you're giving him a head start. Let him go. If that other horse is a mare, Comet's bound to come back. That's a smart idea, Captain. Let's go.
The mayor, Dad. Right over there, behind those rocks. All right, Gus, get a rope on her. Tired of that tree. Yeah, Captain. Should hold her for a while. How long do you think we'll have to wait, Dad? Not too long. Maybe we should take cover so we don't spook Comet when he comes. son. She may give us away. All right, Dad. Pretty smart, that bun. Uh, he's not gonna fall for it. You circle around and head him in this direction, Gus. I'll be waiting here. Yeah. Cut in on me. Come on, Mr. Taylor's outsmarted himself. Watch him, 
son. He's pretty excited. It's all right, Dad. He knows Flick and me. <laughs> Easy, boy. Easy. <laughs> You remember us, Comet, don't you? Careful, son. Careful. Easy, boy. Easy now. Everything's all right now. Okay. Easy. There. That's it, Comet. That's the way to be. Good boy. Doesn't look like a wild stallion now. I hope you can come east sometime and visit me, Ken. Meanwhile, I'll send you a subscription to the Stockman's Journal, and you can follow Bo Comet's career. Thank you. Mr. McLaughlin, I have the reward money for you, and I've never paid anything more gladly. I'll take it. We're going to have ourselves a new buggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that means goodbye. I'm so grateful to all of you. Goodbye, Miss Skyler. Skyler. Goodbye, Mr. McLaughlin. Goodbye. Come on, boys.